Hey everybody, Ableton Certified Trainer and Beat Drop Instructor Mitch Lee here. And many times when I open up a session from someone else, it'll be missing samples or files, and you get that dreaded media missing warning down here at the bottom. And when this happens, the creator of the track didn't properly save their session. So in this tutorial, I wanna help you understand how to properly save your live session so that you can share it with others. And you know what? This is also a good way to archive your session once your project is finished. So part one of this tutorial deals with sessions that are using factory or instruments and effects that come with live when you buy it. If you're using any third party instruments or effects, please check out part two of this tutorial. Okay, let's get started. Right here, I'm looking at a semi-finished track that I'd like to share with some of my homies to get their input, get them to uh, lay down some parts. And I've been saving this project as I've been going to make sure I don't um, lose it if something crashes or fails. But in case you haven't yet, go up to File, Save Live Set As, choose where you would like to do it. In this case, I'm on my desktop, and you can see I already have my folder there where I have been saving it. You would simply then click Save. Now, if I go look at the folder structure of what just happened, Live saved a project folder called the name of my project here, and it gave me uh, a live session file, and it gave me a project info folder. Now, if I share this with my friends, they're gonna get everything that comes with Ableton Live if I used it. However, they're not going to get any um, outside samples or files. Say, for instance, I brought my own drum kits or drum samples into this project. So, what do we need to do? It's all up here. The answer is collect all and save. So we're gonna go collect all and save, and now we're giving four options. And if you're paranoid like me sometimes, just turn these all on to yes, and you're good to go. But if you know that your buddy that you're sharing this with has the library files and the factory files, and you've done this before, you can turn those off. And this will just um, this will just save the samples and the files from outside of Ableton Live, and it'll make sure it's saved in your project folder. So I'm simply going to go OK. It's going to go ahead and save out those um, external WAV files or samples. And if I was to toggle over to my finder window and check out, we ha now have a new samples folder. And uh, if we look into these folders, you'll notice there's a WAV file and there are our analysis files from those WAV files there. So uh, we're almost there. We're simply going to go to our project folder and I'm Mac, so I'm going to just right click and go compress. It makes a zip file. Um, and on a PC, I'm sure you have something similar. And this is the file that you want to share. It's 10 megabytes. You could probably email that, a Gmail account will handle that, or drop that into your Dropbox that you're sharing with your buddy, or send it through like WeTransfer, you send it online on your via your browser. And that's it. Part two is going to discuss how to deal with sessions that have third-party instruments like Massive or Silent or um, what have you, or effects like uh, maybe they've got some sound toy effects or some fab filter. Um, third-party effects and you want to be able to share that but they don't have massive or they don't have some of those effects so what do you do that's in part two so check that out and I think that's it all right later